Hey guys, uh, from a request uh, today, we have a Zekrom build, which is a very interesting one, a very strong Pokemon here. We're going to be running the electric type Terra and the held item Shell Bell. The more health, the more damage we deal, sorry, the more health we get back. Very good item. You can get it from the Living to your Daily Bro Shop. EVs in HP and attack, the adamant nature to boost that attack even more. As you can see, a very high attack there. Max IVs and everything except special attack. The ability is just going to be terrible. The Pokemon's moves that and impeded by the ability of the target that's always nice we're going to be using fusion bolt 100 power 100 accuracy you can't go wrong dragon dance to increase that attack and speed electric terrain to stop us from falling asleep and increasing that electric type moves by 30 percent and then supercell slam because we've not used it yet and it does look like a very good move but five percent chance to miss if it misses we take damage and i would not recommend trying to say it 10 times quick because it just doesn't work so who are we dealing with six star flying type mandibles that's fair enough let's just get straight into it we are radiating some aura amazing so first time we're gonna put up the dragon dance safeguard and light screen on our team as well we got some good ai's protecting us so much for that safeguard yeah we've got a safeguard it just didn't protect us from stress conditions terrible so we're just going to use fusion bolt here because of his ability we can just attack uh, go all out a decent amount of damage his ability will be weak armor lowering his defense every time we attack with a physical move he's going to get faster but that doesn't really matter the nullify that's fine as long as he doesn't just infinitely flinch us, then I don't see how we can lose here. There's another fusion bolt. Boom. Lowering his defense. I think we can do one more until we have to heal that toxic. We avoid the snarl. You know, uh, the mandibles, is, he loves his snarl spam. This is just going to be a very drawn out like, raid. Mandibuzz and the teapot I hate playing against. Just because of how long they take. There's another fusion bolt. Bada wing, bada boom. Oh, we get a crit. Lovely. Weak armor. Back to full health. We might not even need to heal that toxic. There's a snarl. That's fine. We can now terrestrialize and just do a ton of damage if he doesn't remove negative effects here. Are you going to remove negative effects? Oh, 100 damage. You are not. So terrestrialize, fusion bolt. Should do a ton of damage. There we are. Electric terror glowing beautifully. Let's see how much damage we do. Fusion bolt. Mandibuzz's speed won't go higher. In a normal rage, you would just use two or three dragon dances and then start to attack after that. And then electric terrain if needed and supercell slam if you run out of fusion bolts. Even though he's paralyzed, I'm guessing he's still faster. Yes, but he's paralyzed and can't move. So we just get an attack away. I've noticed in this Mandibuzz raid, the timer goes down what seems to be faster than your normal raid. Maybe it's because it has weak armor or something. Or maybe it's just because it spams so many moves. Maybe I'm delusional. Who knows? Looks like we didn't need to actually get rid of the toxic. We just out... Oh, never mind. Flinch. Is this the start of the flinch error? Dark Pulse. If we flinch here, it's going to be trouble. Oh, wow. That's very annoying, the double punch in a row. I should have just healed earlier. I'm so stubborn. It's unreal. If we lose here now, that'll be frustrating. Fusion Ball. It might be doing enough. One more attack and it might break the shield. We need to break the shield very quick. Seed so is not helping. That's just going to delay even more. It's going to be close. Cannot get a flinch now or uh, it's over pretty much. This should take the shield out and that'll guarantee us to go first. We'll do a lot more damage. There's the shield breaking and there's fusion bolt. This is finished. There we go. It didn't need to be that close. I was just being stubborn and didn't want to heal the poison because I'm lazy. We got there in the end. Two ability capsules, we love that. A panic at the end, but we got there. And it is a very strong Pokemon. Highly recommend using it if you do have one. If you want to check out the last build we did, it was an Araquanid, surprisingly very strong. I'll put it on screen right now. Smash the like button if you have enjoyed this video. It does go a long way. Subscribe and turn on the notification bell so you don't miss any more builds. And I'll catch you on the next one.